In this episode of King's Quest 3 to Air as Human Walkthrough, I show you my hero, Widian, has finally learned the last magic spell he will need on his adventure, the invisibility spell. And later on, he gets Shanghai by Pirates. Stay tuned. GamersOasis.com Play Subscribe This episode of Video Gamers Oasis Play Theater is brought to you by Feature Points Get free gift cards Games And much more Try free apps Get rewards Go to your iOS or Android browsers And type HTTP colon forward slash forward slash f e a t u dot r e forward slash v g o use the app start reaping the rewards hey gamers welcome back to king's quest 3 to eris human walkthrough i'm your host the making thanks for joining me again for another walkthrough i hope you're enjoying your summer so far and uh, cozy with a nice bowl of buttery popcorn and your favorite beer or your favorite beverage glass of milk water ice water whatever you prefer drinking sit back relax we're gonna enjoy another walkthrough and show you how to uh, make another spell uh, not gonna stay up too late uh, we'll play a long game it's gonna be a brief game it's kind of late after a hard day's work so we'll have a short game and we'll continue on another day so what we're doing now is gonna we're gonna learn one more spell last spell uh, just gonna restore our game first so last episode if you recall <coughs> last episode we were doing a storm spell now we're gonna our last spell that we're gonna learn is the invisibility spell so let's uh, <coughs> let's follow the instructions of this uh, with this uh, walkthrough here the last spell we're gonna learn is the invisibility spell flip the spell book to the page of the said spell. So let's continue on and we're going to go look at our, our our spell book to the invisibility spell. Becoming invisible. Save our game. Replace. Replace that with uh, invisibility spell. Replace. Okay, the instructions say flip to the page, uh, open it. Okay, so cut a cactus with a knife, squeeze the cactus juice into a spoon, place cactus juice in a bowl, put one jar of lard into the bowl, add two drops of toad spittle to the bowl, stir the mixture with a spoon, recite the following juice of cactus and toad spittle. Upon myself, but just a little, with a f with flame and moisture both present, I shall become both most transparent. Have wave a magic wand over the bowl. Put ointment into the empty lard jar. To cast the spell, rub the ointment on your body in a place where there is both fire and mist. Makes enough for one application. So, first step. First step of the spell. Open the inventory for the knife. Use the knife on cactus. Where's the knife? The knife is big enough and sharp enough to carve a large roast. Okay. And it says, um, what we need to do is you have to get the cactus. Where's the cactus? The greenish gray cactus is small, plump, and fleshy. Okay, you gotta get the knife and I'll, I'll use it on the cactus. You cut the cactus in half with the knife. Okay. Save our progress. Invisibility spell. Now, we got that part done. Ok, 
Okay. Uh, cut the cactus. Use the cactus on the spoon. Okay. Use the cactus on the spoon. You squeeze the cactus juice into the spoon. All right. That part's done. Save our progress. Now, what's next? Um. Uh, open the okay uh, knife of the cactus and use the cactus and spoon open the inventory for the spoon use a spoon on the bowl use the spoon on the bowl where is the bowl you add the cactus juice to the bowl all right save our progress and then what you do Choose the jar of lard, use the lard in the bowl. Use the lard on the bowl. There's nothing very interesting about this jar of whitish, thick lard. Alright, use the lard on the bowl. You add the jar of lard to the bowl. You keep right. the empty jar for later use. Okay, we'll have to save that. Okay, after that, uh, use a spoon in the bowl and choose the jar of lard, use the lard of the bowl, open the inventory to the toad spittle and use it on the bowl. Toad spittle, let's get the toad spittle. Toad spittle is unpleasant stuff, to say the least. Yes, gross. You add two drops of toad spittle to the bowl. Okay. Save our progress. Um. So, uh, we got the toad spittle in the bowl. Open the inventory again for the spoon. Use a spoon on the bowl. And recite the spell. Use a spoon on the bowl. You carefully stir the contents of the bowl. Okay. Save our progress. I wonder what happened, just out of curiosity, what would happen if I started using it? Ah! Half invisible! You shouldn't try making up your own spells. Restore! Okay, fortunately I saved my game, so I just wanted to test what would happen. <clears throat> Use the spoon of the bowl and recite the spell. Now we have to recite it. Here we go. With trepidation, you prepare to recite the Becoming Invisible incantation. Okay. Juice of cactus and toad spittle upon myself but just a little. With mm -hmm. flame and moisture both present, I shall become most transparent. All right. Next step. Save our progress. And we will... Uh... Using the bowl, and then use the empty jar of the bowl, save your, okay. Okay, um. <clears throat> I reset the spell, open the inventory for the wand, use it in the bowl. Get the wand. Use it on the bowl. You wave the magic wand over the bowl. Okay. Okay, it's on the bowl. And then use the empty jar on the bowl. You carefully pour the invisibility ointment into the empty lard jar. All right, sweet. Empty jar on the bowl. Save your game and leave the house. Save your game. Visibility game spell. What happens if I use it? You sense that this is not the right time to use the ointment. 
Okay. Let's look at it first. The jar of invisibility ointment is nearly full of a thick, oily substance. Yeah. That's the substance to use. You sense that this is not the right time to use the ointment. Okay. Save our progress. We got the invisibility spell ointment done. Let's replace that then. Replace that. Save it as... <clears throat> Ointment. That's what it's going to be called. Now, what's next? Save your game, leave the house, warp to the village. Save your game. Let's use our, ma our magic stone. You rub the magic stone. Let's rub the magic stone again. You rub the magic stone. Okay, let's go back in there. Close the, the door. You quickly pull the levers in the correct sequence. All right. Now, um, warp to the village. Save the game and leave the house. Warp to the village. Now let's go here. Just going a little further in the game. You pull out your magic map. All right. Walk to the village. You feel a strange pulling, pulling sensation. sensation. All right. Now where are we ready to go now? Into the bar and talk to the pirates, or rather the captain. Use your money pouch on on him to buy your passage into the ship. Okay. Uh, let's go to the uh, tavern. Into the bar. Here we go. Uh, that's not where I went too far. Okay. It's firmly attached. Okay. Let's go this way. Open the door. All right, here we go. We'll save our progress as place that ocean water cup with bar or tavern. All right, now into the bar and talk to the pirates or rather the captain use your money pouch on him to buy your passage to the ship after the pirates leave save your game and leave the tavern head east toward the docks all right let's talk to these guys let's talk to the lady first which get out of here with more rum wrench serve us rum let's talk to the lady you have nothing else to say to the barmaid at the moment. Hey, okay. A pretty buxom barmaid stands there with an air of hardened determination. You get the feeling that she doesn't take guff from anybody. I guess not. Who are these a guys? A bunch of seafarers swap yarns between swills of rum. It would seem they're getting ready to set sail. Okay. A loud bunch of seafarers. Let's talk to the captain here. The sailors peer at you through bleary eyes and continue swilling their rum. All right. One who looks like the captain pauses and drunkenly speaks to you. All right. Oh, I mean, back out. Be ye wanting passage on me ship? What you running from? <laughs> oh, it's no matter. As long as you got gold. Let's me see how much you got. How much you got? Gold. The drunken sea captain looks angry as he speaks again. Don't ignore me, laddie. I asked you how much gold you got for passage on me ship. All right, all right, all right, calm down. Let's give him some gold. Show him. It says, um... Show him the money pouch. A 
As you bring out the purse, the captain snatches it from your hand. All right. Oh, lad, I sees you do have a wee bit of gold. A wee bit of gold. It's regular fare, but all gives you passage anyways. We'll be waiting for you at the wharf, but not for long. The captain and his men down their rum in one long draft that leave the tavern. Ah, we're getting ready to go. All right, save our progress. Save our progress as pirates. Now, what's next? So where do we have to go now? Um, keep walking until you see a fat pirate waiting for you at the docks. Talk to him to be set to the let on the ship. Watch the cutscene where Captain Bludet reveals himself to be a pirate. Keep walking until you uh, see a fat pirate. Okay, at the docks. Okay. All right. Keep walking. Keep walking. Keep walking. All right. Let's talk to this guy. The seaman guarding the ship eyes you shiftily. Talk to him. Hi, the captain said you'd be coming along. Get on board. Okay, here we go. And we are off on our adventure. Nothing like a little bit of salt air to perk up a boy's spirits. You feel excited about the upcoming journey. Sweet. Love to be on a, on a giant pirate ship, a big giant schooner. Ba -da -da -ba -ba. Oh, hey, me lad. Allow me to introduce myself. My name's Captain Bloodlet. I'll be your host for this year voyage. Or what you'll be remembering of it. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Uh -oh. Pretty flag, ain't it? You're pirates? Pirates? Uh -oh. So we'll be showing you teak waters now. Uh oh. Trouble. Set course for the island. Aye, Captain. The Captain. Oh. On the bottom of the ship here. Knock them out. So where are we? Save our progress as, uh... Ah. Uh, don't need a bedroom. Save that as, uh... Pirate ship. See that's pirate ship. That was my inventory. Shit, they took my inventory. Damn it. Cautiously you look around the dank cargo hold. Oh my god. Of wooden crates. A rope ladder dangles part way through an opening above. Okay, instructions say once you wake up, walk over to the right of the screen. Switch to the hand cursor and click on the crate. Click the crate back to a previous screen and set it in front of large platforms beneath the ladder. Okay, I'm obviously in a bit of a tight situation, so I'm going to save my game, pirate ship, and we'll continue on another day because it's really, uh, this will be a bit of a cliffhanger for you guys. Save our game, yes, and exit. Gamers, I'd like to thank you for watching me play King's Quest 3 to Errors Human uh, walkthrough. So we successfully completed all our spells that were required in this game. We've completed the um, the invisibility ointment, and now we've been shanghaied by pirates. So we'll leave that as a bit of a cliffhanger for our next episode. We'll continue on next time. Check out the links below. I'm your host, Miki. Thanks for watching, gamers. Have a great weekend and enjoy your summer. And uh, ahoy, mateys. We'll see you again. I'm really tired, so I'll have more energy tomorrow. Bye.